Hey everyone, and welcome to the Corona Cast. Words of hope in a land without hand sanitizer. I pray that you're doing well. I thought today we might sing In the Cross of Christ I Glory. In the cross of Christ I glory, towering o'er the wrecks of time. today comes from the 23rd chapter of the Gospel of Luke. Now it was about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon when the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus crying with a loud voice said, Father into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place he praised God and said certainly this man was innocent. And when all the crowds who had gathered there for this spectacle saw what had taken place, they returned home beating their breasts. But all of his acquaintances, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching these things. On some levels, it's always strange to me that the symbol that defines our church, that the one right there behind me that's there on the altar every Sunday of the year is the most brutal form of torture that the repressive Roman government could ever come up with. It was a way to kill someone, not just to silence them, but to send a message to make sure no one would follow in that way because it was considered to be such an awful way to go. I'm sure you can Google and look it up, but it was unkind and it hurt. But through it we live. Through it we know what redemption is. And this is one of the great mysteries of faith. I was told when I was in seminary that there are 16 different theories of the atonement. And I do not believe it is a sinners in the hands of an angry God but instead a God of love and mercy who comes down and who is involved with our life and when it really matters, chooses to die so that we can live. In the cross of Christ we glory because we know that this is the death that gives us purpose, that gives us meaning and allows our lives to be centered in grace and faith. I hope that y'all are doing well. If there is anything your church can do for you, please let us know. Let us pray. Great and gracious God, we give you thanks for your cross, for the way it reminds us of the life that we are given. Watch over us and allow us to help others in this world. In your name we pray. 